Hello Pisces, welcome to your May 2018 reading. I've pulled two oracle cards for you this month. The first is from the House of Night oracle deck and you've pulled Invisible. Now, I feel that at the moment you may be feeling that you are kind of in the shadows your intentions may not be clear to others. Now is not the time for you to tell all and show everyone your truth. Being invisible protects you from harm right now so that you can observe your surroundings without being vulnerable. Stay hidden and watch what others do before acting. And from the angel's deck, you've pulled innocence. Now with this card, there may be feelings of guilt, anger, or blame. How I feel with these two cards together, Pisces, is that I feel you need to wait, stay in the shadows for a little while longer, observe what you see, and make sure you don't rush in uh, with feelings of blame, or anger without knowing all the details first. This card can also suggest, the card of innocence can suggest that guilt, feelings of guilt, blame, anger can attract negativity. So the card suggests that you forgive and release these kinds of negative emotions. So let's see where this reading goes, Pisces. Okay, let's see what this is. In the center, we have the Two of Swords. So there is some sort of decision. You haven't made it yet. I feel like with the invisible card, you're waiting, you're holding back, you're gathering facts here. Let's see what else I can pull out on that one for you, Pisces. You've got the Five of Swords. It appears that this decision involves you're deciding whether or not to take up some kind of battle. You're deciding whether something is worth fighting for. You're deciding whether you can win a situation. Now in the past You've got the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Now, it seems that in the past you've been in a situation where you felt that you weren't putting, you weren't getting back what you've put in. You haven't received equal give and take. So let's see what that's about, Pisces. Page of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. With the Page of Swords, I feel that you've sought the truth. You've asked for answers. And I feel that with the Page of Pentacles, you're now taking a practical, realistic approach to a situation. Due to some kind of truth you've found out about there not being equal give and take. I feel it's in some kind of relationship or partnership. I feel that you're now being realistic and grounded, realizing the truth and not putting in the energy anymore that you once put in because you're just not receiving it back. And in the current situation for you, Pisces, you have the Queen of Cups. So I see that as you because you are a water sign and you are coming in in the upright. So you are a very caring, compassionate person, intuitive as well, I feel. You have the Eight of Wands in reverse and the Judgment card. I think you're being very careful right now, Pisces. I think you're being very, you're using your intuition, you're taking it slow 
because the Eight of Wands is in reverse, it means slow movement or a delay. In making some kind of judgment here, this could involve a second chance or forgiveness. Now in the future, you have the King of Pentacles in reverse. Now this could be an earth sign, individual. Be because it's a general reading, it can be male or female. I feel that this person has not been someone that you could rely on. You feel that they have been impractical. You feel that they have acted perhaps without much thought, illogically. I feel that this person's been very irresponsible. So let's see what else I can pull out on this King of Pentacles in reverse. Could be an Earth sign, could be a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. Got the Six of Swords in reverse and the Three of Cups in reverse. So that makes sense to Pisces. It appears that there is some kind of baggage here involving a third party relationship could be some kind of betrayal. I feel that there has been an inability to move on from this betrayal or third party involvement. This has left this person quite unstable. Now the best path to follow or advice for you Pisces is the Ace of Wands in reverse. So there's some kind of block here to a new beginning or a new creative endeavor. See what else I can pull out on that one for you. You have the Tower as advice and the Seven of Wands. Now the Tower as advice is asking you to learn from this experience, this this. I feel like this has been some kind of sudden breakdown, sudden change in a relationship. I feel that as advice it's saying that this breakdown may be a blessing in disguise. It could be that this breakdown needed to happen so that it can be torn down and rebuilt on a more solid foundation. And I feel that this Ace of Wands can be righted and a new beginning could be achieved if I feel like this tower needed to happen for this Ace of Wands to be in the future as an upright new beginning. And with the Seven of Wands, I feel that as advice this is telling you to Fight for what you believe in, stand your ground, speak your truth, don't give up the battle. If there's something you really want, Pisces, if you, if you, want, if you want this new beginning, it's saying that you should, you should definitely stand up for yourself and, and, and fight for what you believe in. Now, in your environment, you have the Page of Wands. So this is some new energy coming in, I feel. Let's see what else I could pull out on that Page of Wands. Another page, Page of Cups and the Magician. So I feel that someone around you is confident In either, this can go either way, Pisces. This could be your energy or someone around you's energy. Someone is feeling very confident that they're going to be able to manifest the first steps in a more, I feel like with this Page of Cups, it's going to be a more practical approach to a relationship. There is love here with the Page of Cups. And I feel that this magician, whether it's how someone's feeling about you or how 
or how someone else is acting in your immediate vicinity, there's someone here who is confident they can achieve this, this love with you and or vice versa and someone is making the taking the first steps here in approaching you i believe now in your hopes and fears pisces you have the death card in reverse this could be a fear of change a fear of releasing something Let's see what else i can pull out you have the moon in reverse I think you may fear that you may find out something here that the truth may be uncovered perhaps you suspect there is something going on here with this king of pentacles and you're fearing a change to a relationship and you're also fearing finding out something that you do that you don't want to hear and in your outcome Pisces you have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse I feel that's your energy it seems that you're not nurturing yourself you're not taking care of yourself here what else can i pull out what is this queen of pentacles in reverse for pisces please you have the knight of pentacles so there's some sort of slow movement here there's the five of wands and the knight of wands so how i feel with this pisces is i feel that you I feel this Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles is your energy. And I just feel that you are taking steps to make this decision, but it's happening very slowly. And I think this Knight of Wands is someone else, and I think someone else may be coming in here. wanting to fight for the relationship i feel with the five of wands i feel there's a lot of passion here with the knight of wands excuse the thunder the knight of wands is uh, definitely a thundery personality that's him coming in now he's coming in with a lot of passion there's a lot of energy here someone's really wanting to fight I think they're wanting to fight for this relationship whether this is you or the other way around I feel that this decision is going to be made to fight for this you're taking it slowly but I do see a decision being made to fight your best path to follow is saying that this tower event needed to happen in order for something to be rebuilt and made stronger and with the seven of wands if the advice is saying yes if you want it don't give up fight for it either you or someone around you is feeling that they're very capable of achieving this love you may be fearing a release or change in a matter and you also may be fearing some truths here being revealed most likely about what's happened here with this king of pentacles in reverse and some baggage here i think in regard to this third party relationship i see you here using your intuition being slow about making this decision but you're I think with this invisible card especially you're really step you're stepping back you're considering other people's viewpoints you're being objective you're taking in all of the facts before making this decision on whether or not to fight for this relationship there's some feelings of anger blame you're trying to release those, I feel. 
and I do believe that you are going to make the decision here to fight for this relationship. I feel like it is an important relationship in your life. You do fear hearing some truths here, but I do believe you're going to make the decision to, to fight here with this Knight of Wands and the, the, uh, the Five of Wands here. I think you're going to you're going to take up your sword here and, and fight off the, the competition, I believe, with this Five of Wands. So that's your reading, Pisces. Wow, there's a lot of energy here, and I wish you all the best. I sense a lot of anger, and I know that you want to release that, There's some blame here. I think you need to let those go. I think there needs to be forgiveness here with the judgment card. It's, it's slow in coming with this Eight of Wands and this Knight of Pentacles energy, but I think you will get there in the end. And after you achieve, after you let go of the, the feelings of guilt, anger, blame, resentment, I think you will find peace again, Pisces, which is fantastic. Now, that's your reading for this month. I wish you all the best. If you would like to contact me for a reading, please stay tuned and I'll let you know how to contact me. If you would like any more information about this particular reading or if there's other questions you'd like to ask, I'm here for you. I have some great introductory rates. So please uh, feel free to contact me. And uh, if not, then I will see you next month. Thank you, Pisces. Good luck. Bye. Hello, everyone. It's Michelle from Gypsy Insights. I'm so excited to launch this new channel. I'm an intuitive reader. I receive the energies from the cards as I read them. I'm here to provide guidance through tarot, and I hope that you enjoy the readings. My general readings can be quite specific and won't resonate with everyone. Please check your sun, moon and rising signs to see which one resonates the most with you. And remember, the energies can resonate with you or go vice versa. These general readings are provided free of charge, so if you are enjoying my readings, please feel free to donate using PayPal and my email address, gypsyinsights at gmail.com. I look forward to reading for you personally please email me at gypsyinsights at gmail.com if you would like a personal reading. I'm offering low introductory rates. If you would like an answer to one question, I offer a 15 minute video. I also offer a 30 minute video if you have two to three questions and an in-depth video of 45 to 60 minutes. These videos are delivered to you via YouTube for you personally. Please like, share and subscribe. I'll be adding additional content on a regular basis. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate your support and I will see you again very soon.